Hey guys, this is Nate Lindley of Ashcan Comics Pub. I'm going to do my best to just try and keep this short to explain how the game works, uh, a little bit about how your NFT can work for you, because that's the goal that I have here. All right, the premise is these guys, the Uni, are out causing chaos, spreading warfare all throughout the land. Uh, their mission is to go out and collect a thousand blades of the mortals. And in that warfare, we have these ninjas, these samurais, and these monks. These are the NFTs that you can claim and that will work for you. They go out and they start battling for these Hans. Now, some of them are going to be gobbled up by these big bad guys, right? Others are going to gain the dragon protection. Others will become the honored warrior. Uh, what you really want is your NFT. You want it to land on here, all right? If you get that, you have a chance at winning one of the legendary NFTs, only the ones that can be won in the game. They cannot be purchased, right? So that's the value of having these cards because that's the only way to access them. Also, you'll be entered into winning a jackpot for some BSV, which I'm sure everybody would really like. All right, so how do you set this up? All right, you set up the four Hans, all right? Those are the territories that these guys are going to be battling for. Going to give it a shuffle. All right, and yeah, split the deck. There you go. That's going to be the, the very lucky winner right there, but we don't get to find out about that person until later. Then we put another card underneath these Hans. That's what I call the assassin, or the ambush card. Okay, now, we have to take these cards now, these are the special cards, and we mix them in with the warriors. This is where the battle is going to start taking place. We'll give it a couple shuffles here. This one's just a demo. There's not actually going to be a winner in this one. This is just so people have an idea how the game plays out. So again, we set up the four Hans, the honored warrior, we put out that card, which we find out at the end, the assassins or the ambush card. Then we go through here and we, here, let me move this up just a little bit so everyone can see. First time doing this, we'll, uh, I'll get a little bit more organized with the presentation here in the next few attempts. This is the first one. I'm really happy with the way these cards came out. I spent a lot of time drawing them and, you know, making them as cool as I possibly could, right? And play testing it and everything. But I was really impressed with the quality of these cards. I mean, even looking at the back of the cards, I mean, I think that just looks real slick. All right, so how does this work? All right, so we're gonna go to Han 1. What kind of battle is gonna ensue here? We turn this over so far of power level six ninjas in control. Who's gonna challenge him? Ooh, dang, that is like super strong. Okay, power 10 monk. He might have this on lockdown, but Things, oops, see, like Power 7 Ninja, not going to happen. See ya, buddy. Power 3 Monk, nope. We're just hanging in there with that 10. Oh, okay, in this game, if they match the number, they take over. So Ninja just took over. But, like I was just going to say, there could be a chance that that changes. Oni is like OP. I mean, look at this dude, right? You run into him. I mean, I, I really think Wolverine from Marvel was inspired by the Oni. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, from what I was, when I was studying about these guys, I mean, it, it's like they're the ultimate warrior kind of thing. So they're going to wipe out. Even though he's a powered level 10 ninja, wham, he's gone. Monks are back in control. Seven, samurai, not going to cut it. Nine, monk, nope. All right, so Han won. So far, this could change it though, right? We still have the ambush card there. So Han won currently is uncontrolled by the monk. All right. Han 2, who's it going to be? Ooh, power level 1 samurai might not hang in there too long, but let's see how it goes. Yeah, didn't think so. Level 4 ninja taking over. Level 6 monk taking it now. Level 3 ninja, not going to happen. Sorry, buddy. Ooh, there you go, dude. That is like the big OP card right there. Dragon protection. That monk. I just set all the other cards over there. You can't challenge him now. Nothing's got him. So Monk has Han 2 on lockdown. So we have Monk, Monk, going to the third Han. What do we have here? Let's check it out. Level 7 Monk looks pretty strong. Level 5 Ninja, not going to do it. Level 4 Monk, not going to make it. Boom! Oni Bomb. Ooh, Oni, but no one's there. All right. That doesn't do anything this time. Samurai is taking it. Eight's a pretty solid number. He might have control. Level 4 Samurai, not going to cut it. 
level eight ninja right there at the end. Boom. So you guys, this, this is the cool thing I love about this game. It's like it can throw curveballs. It's like the story is just kind of coming together for you. There's no stress. It's not really like a major strategy game, but it just a really cool dynamic seeing how they're all fighting for it, right? Level two samurai. Boom. Oni strikes. Wipes out the samurai. Goodbye. Ooh, Oni, but no one's home. Level six samurai taking Han four. Level three samurai, not gonna do it. Oni, my goodness, man, it's like an Oni fest over here. Just wiping them out. Samurai takes it at level five. Ooh, but right at the end, samurais do not get it. At least so far. I should I shouldn't speak too soon. You never know what's gonna happen with these ambush cards, right? These are pretty high level powers though. Uh, a lot of times when I was game testing, this could be like level four and stuff, so it could it could really make a difference what the ambush cards are. All right, so let's take a look here. Ambush. Oh, man, that is a really good attempt. Samurai 9, but not going to beat Monk level 10. Now, this guy has a Dragon Blessing, so this Ambush card, it doesn't matter what it is. Dragon Blessing protects him. All right, so he's the, the Dragon Warrior, so to speak. All right, what do we have right here? Level 2 Ninja. Not going to change anything. And I don't know about this, if it's going to change anything or not either, but let's see. Nope, only a level two monk. All right, so here's how the game works, right? You've seen how we put the cards out here. The battle has all taken place. Uh, Dragon Blessing was given to that guy. All right, we saw the Oni taking control. We've seen how the power shifted between monks and ninjas and samurai, right? So we look at it now, and we'd say, all right, well, there are three monk victories and one ninja victory. All right, if you are holding a monk NFT... It is looking really good for you right now to earn more NFTs from me. All right, so the winners of this part of the battle get NFTs, but there's still a 25% chance that Ninja are going to take it. So how do we figure that out? We take these, we shuffle them up. Who is going to win? And this is the one that's pretty cool because this is where you work as a team. This is where everybody that's Ninjas could win or everybody that's a Monk could win. Unfortunately, in this game, Samurais didn't get any control, so they're out. So let's see. Wow. Monks. All right. So if you had a monk NFT, this would be the point where you would be getting airdropped NFTs from me if you had a monk faction card. All right. Now, what about this dude up here? All right. This could be like a double win if this is a monk too. Let's see. The honored warrior, the person that reunites the land, that brings it all back together, is Ninja power level nine. This is where the specific game card NFT is important. If you have the ninja power level nine, this will enter you into the pool for BSV, and this will be the one that unlocks your opportunity to win some of the legendary NFTs, the ones that won't be available for sale. All right, so that's the example game. Thank you for your patience. Uh, if you have more questions, please contact me, right? 1000BladesBSV on Twitter. Um, or you can also find me at ACP underscore Nate. This is a game I've been working on for a while. I really appreciate you guys supporting it. Uh, I'm planning on making a comic book. If you're wondering where the name 1000 Blades comes from, it's it goes back to those Oni cards, all right? These Oni, they're creating problems. They're out to get 1000 Blades of Mortals. So they go out and they start training men in warfare. Not because they want them to be good warriors, but because they want them to fall in war. They're going to get the Thousand Blades. So the ninja and the samurai start fighting and the monks start getting in on it. But then what happens is there's a monk who's visited by a dragon spirit. And he becomes this dragon warrior, so to speak. It's a dragon protection. And he goes out and battles against these oni. Now I don't want to give up a whole lot more because I do plan on making a comic of this. But this is just the beginning, guys. So thank you so much for joining me in this adventure. Thank you for checking out 1000 Blades and believing in my work. I hope to see you guys more. And uh, I'll be posting these online, and they will be the real deal where rewards can be earned. NFTs that work for you. From Nate at Ashcan Comics Pub. Take care, guys.